Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La Vintage Treasures and I am here with a package of goodies that I received from Martha. She's Bird and Barn Designs here on YouTube. So she created this envelope and made my name on the top. Isn't that so pretty? Using Pink Parfait Cafe Digitals. I'm so excited to receive this package as Martha and myself and a couple other ladies that are going to be doing this little um, collection of goodies with you all on video. We're going to be showing you our process and how we, we're making things and then show you how we're putting it together and things like that. And so this is really super exciting for Martha and I'm so, so thrilled, Martha, that you asked me to do this. I love crafty goodies in the craft room, you guys. I love beautiful decorations, and I love seeing different ideas on how to store laces. And one of the things I love to do is store laces, especially my favorite ones, like tatting and specialty antique laces on special trim holders. And uh, I've been searching around for those types of things, and I happened to discover in one of Martha's videos where she had these in her display and I went crazy so I had to ask her do you have these do you sell them and where are they and she said I have something in the works but it's going to be a few months before we get started she finally launched it you guys it is so beautiful and she sent me a package of goodies and I'm so super excited so these are the lace holders and they come in different sizes I believe that they will have smaller ones as well, but these are considered the large and they are so nicely made. The beautiful etching and the beautiful uh, coloring, the way that it's colored and the, the actual wood that they use is just stunning. It really doesn't need any embellishing, but she is challenging us to embellish them for her. And so I am up for the challenge. So thank you, Martha, for sending me these goodies. So let me read you guys this little letter that she sent. <clears throat> I hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a while since I've been on here, and I'm so happy to be back. I've been working in my craft room, getting things done as usual. It takes a lot of time to get our craft rooms done. And so I'm just having a lot of fun organizing right now. So in this letter, it says, Dear Doreen, I have enclosed the lace hanger kit, which I have collaborated with my kids to create for their store, Red Hill Fiber & Co. I have specially selected you as a recipient to help launch the holders, as I admire your artistic talents as well as value your friendship. Thank you so much, Martha. That's so sweet. And you are so talented as well. Though there is absolutely no obligation, my hope is that each of the recipients, along with myself, decorate their stands to their preference so that we can create a collaborative video showcasing each other's talent and style to help launch the new product. This has been a passion project for us, and I'm so happy to finally see it through to completion. I hope that you will enjoy the lace hanger and know that whether you decide to participate in the collaboration or not, it brings me great joy knowing that someone I admire was among the first three recipients. We would love to hear any feedback or suggestions you may have on this product as we strive to make it functional and top notch for the user. Wishing you many blessings, Martha. What a beautiful letter, Martha. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. So Martha and I speak a lot um, because she is on the design team and we do talk about different things. And so we were discussing different ways that we could alter the these lace spools. And we were coming up with so many ideas. So I have a lot in my head, you guys. So hopefully it all comes in the way I plan. So this is some gorgeous lace that she included. Look at this beautiful lace. I love that. That is so pretty. And this one here as well. It's just a really pretty mocha color lace. And these are the two holders. Okay, I'm gonna move them to the side. And then she sent these gorgeous trim fabrics. Aren't they beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. And then this gorgeous trim right here Look at this. This would make a stunning book cover, wouldn't it? 
with some music pages behind it or book pages or any digitals or any French papers. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Martha. These are beautiful. I will cherish these. These are absolutely stunning. And then she sent a bag of goodies and I took them out just so that you guys didn't have to listen to the packaging. And she had it all wrapped up so nicely in the cellophane. But aren't these beautiful? And this bow, I know exactly where that bow is gonna go. But isn't that just stunning, you guys? All these beautiful flowers and trims and rhinestones and just lots of little bits of goodies. Thank you, Martha, for sharing your little bits with me. I love them. They're so pretty. And then you guys, look at this. This is the beauty right here. Martha created this on a video and I told her I wanted to buy one. And I told her she should be selling these. They're so gorgeous. She handmade this bag, you guys. Isn't it stunning? I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. It has lace over the top of material. I think she said this was gabardine material. Haven't heard that name in a while. And then she embellished the whole front cover. Isn't that beautiful? It has lace and wedding appliques and flowers. And she has this all explained on her channel. So I will link that below so that you can go and watch this video and you must check out all her videos because Martha is super talented and she has a lot of great ideas. This is just beautiful. And at the top, there's a little holder here, a little snippet here. Let me take this off for you to see. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm gonna take it off of here so we can dive through it. And I just made a mess here, so let me clean this up. Okay, so here is a beautiful suitcase digital. And this is from the shabby pink suitcases. She did it on fabric, a cotton fabric, and it's just stunning. And then some lace. Beautiful, that beautiful trim again. Some lace. So pretty. I love all the textures on the laces. It's so pretty. Beautiful applique. That's just so pretty. I love making these. They are so fun to make and they're so fun to receive. I absolutely love seeing all these on boxes and different things just hanging out. They're just fun. Let me clip this back on over here and let's go inside. So she has this beautiful ribbon here. Uh oh, she wrapped it. She wraps everything so beautifully. I love it. I love how she thinks. So it looks like there's some box feed in here. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Look at this, you guys. Aren't those cool? Okay. I will have to... Uh, figure these out, but aren't those really nice? We'll have to see how that's gonna work out with this. Okay, let's open it up. She has this pretty bulb pin with a beautiful pearl. Beautiful. Well, this lace is so nice, I love it. Look at this lace, you guys. You can tell this is a kind of a vintage lace. It has the texture. You know, the vintage lace has this wonderful feel about it when you touch it. If you know vintage lace, you know what I mean. Antique and vintage has different feels on the laces. Look at that generous amount of lace. And then we have these. 
You guys, look at these amazing hangers. Oh, I have so many ideas. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a twelve piece set. And I believe that the set that they're selling online is eight. So I believe she gave us extras. But don't quote me on that. You'll have to go check the website. Oh, look at this. Instructions. Okay. So as you see, it comes in four pieces. And again, look at how thick this is, you guys. That is incredible. And I like that she has etched one side and left one side plain. So you could choose how you want to put it on your hanger. Okay, so I am thinking about doing this on the inside and then the plain on the outside because I have an idea of what I want to do with the outside. All right, so for me, I'm going to put it on the inside. And all you do is snap these into the little holes and you put the dowel through like that. So you have the, um, the dowel is right here. So if you wanted to, you could put a button on each side to secure it, but it's pretty sturdy once you put the hangers on. All right, so let's do that. Let's put the hangers on so you can see. Look at this, you guys. Now this does say glue lightly with wood glue to permanently hold the stand together, but if you're wanting to paint it, you don't want to glue it. You may want to paint it first and then glue it. So we have all of this space. I'm having so much fun just looking at it. Can you see what I did? So here is the side, here is the side plane. So the inside is where the decoration is all the way around. And then I will be decorating the outside. Okay, I will be doing decorating on the outside. I believe I'm gonna paint it, but I'm gonna surprise you guys with how I'm gonna do it. And I will come back and show you how I do it but the instructions are very simple you insert the side post into the base insert the dowel rods into the holes at the top of the side post glue lightly with wood glue to permanently hold stand together and you may sand the wood burning marks from the wood with a light grade sandpaper 100 grit if you prefer a clean look leave the wood as is or paint and decorate as desired and here's the website redhillfiber.com the website is up and they have so many choices you can get this right here completely plain the prices are all different depending on if you're getting the etching or not because the etching takes several hours just to make one set so that is why they have the options for the plane and then you can buy everything separately you can buy extra hangers extras of these I believe you can get these plain as well you know or just you know cover them up if you don't want the etching I don't see why we would cover that up because it's so beautiful or maybe just paint it okay so let me put this aside and then I have something else to share with you I have also received a box full of these, you guys. These lace holders 
for every one of my team members who would like to participate in the challenge. I'm waiting for a few ladies to get back with me, but the majority of all of my team members will be receiving these along with some goodies in their package and they will get to alter these and the challenge is to alter them and I will give you all the instructions on what you're going, you know, what the altering is. You will use an Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Digital. These are gifted from Martha to the entire team. Martha, thank you so, so much for doing this for my team. I can't thank you enough for your sweet, sweet, uh, constant friendship and you're always such a, a guiding light. I just love your work so much and I can't wait to play with these products. If you're interested in this, this would be a great Mother's Day gift for yourself or someone you might know that's a crafty person. Go on and go check out the website. I believe that they will have an Etsy shop coming soon as well. Um, that might be in the works for the future, but the website is absolutely beautiful. Redhillfiber.com, Martha at Burn and Barn Designs. Bye. Super, super soft. So after the alpaca is sheared, it comes to the kids in what they call blankets, and then they start the process. This is the skirting, where they put it all on a screen and pick out all of the other um, like debris, straw, and whatever is in there. So they do that, and then they wash it. And then they, I love the clean stuff on this thing. It goes through all those cones, and it comes out the other end, looking like this. And that's called roving. And they run the roving through this machine. custom dyes and it becomes this and they dye it all and this is their store they have a couple different lines of yarn you'll see on their website um, one is called the fourth wing and that's the licensed yarn And Artfully Twisted is their custom dyed. That's what this is. And then here's some projects that my daughter knitted. Some pretty yarns. And then they have all the notions that anybody can need for knitting and crocheting. And then here's some more of the Artfully Twisted.